this video is for anyone who's interested in trying out Rothy's. I have seen these all over my Instagram, my TikTok, all my ads or whatever. They're always like showing me like Rothy's and how they're like the most comfortable flats ever. I wear a lot of business casual clothes to work, so I've always been like interested in trying them out and seeing if they really are like worth the hype because they are very expensive, let me tell you, <laughs> okay? Um, so I actually was able to buy them on a discount. They had a 40% off discount for healthcare workers a couple weeks ago. I'm a pharmacist, so I qualified and I finally took the plunge and I went ahead and bought them. Um, I did have some problems with sizing and I wanted to kind of like walk you guys through like the whole process and what I did in terms of like finding the correct size for myself because if I'm gonna have expensive shoes, I want them to fit perfectly, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the video. I wanna talk all about the sizing. I got the basic black flat and um, honestly, I'm a fan. <laughs> So starting out, I did order a size 10. Typically, I'm a size nine. That's like my normal, regular size in like every shoe. That's where I start out at. Um, on the website for sizing, they recommend to go up a half a size just because they tend to run kind of small. And then it said if you have a little bit like wider feet, then they recommend going up a full size. So I did a full size because I kind of have wider feet, but not they're not super wide. I don't know. I was like, let me just order the 10. I've never ordered a 10 in my life, so that should have been my first like mm, warning. But anyways, they came really quickly in the mail. I got the size 10 and I just like wasn't sold on the fit of the shoe. So I'll go ahead and show you like what the size 10 looked like and like that way you can see why I had reservations about it. And then I will show you the size nine and a half, which I feel like fits me much better. <laughs> When I put my foot in, it goes in pretty easily, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like my toes are kind of sticking out in that little point part, so that was kind of like an automatic indicator for me. They just feel like loose. Like, I feel like I could just scrunch my toes up and then like they'd come out. Um, so yeah, and they also are very flexible, very bendy, and it's just providing a lot more space than what I thought it was going to. So is this what they look like on? Okay, they're pretty cute, very basic, black, exactly what I wanted. Um, but just like doing this, it's kind of catching the heel back there, but I feel like it's just gonna easily slip off if I'm like, I don't know, running or doing something. Like I just want it a bit tighter, if that makes sense. One thing my mom always did when trying on shoes is she would like press down the top and like this is where my toe stops and I feel like there's like space in between like the toe and like this part so just like a lot of space up here like I don't know if you can see like my big toe so I think that's where I'm having like more space issues and that's why I'm gonna size down like look how easy it is for me to just take them off like I feel like I barely had to do any type of effort like whatsoever so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them back and exchange them for the uh, nine and a half hey y'all so I just changed and everything it's actually been a couple of days um, since I last recorded the try on the post office was closed at the time so I'm hoping to go today before they close the return and exchange policy seems super easy so I'll let you guys see what that process looks like and like let you know on shipping and stuff to get my new pair um, back to me. I also want to mention the customer service team for Rothy's is super, super nice. They were really quick to respond to my email and answer all my concerns. They actually texted me once everything was confirmed with my new address and everything because I accidentally put the wrong address in my order. So thank God they responded so quickly. Um, it literally shipped the next day and it got here super quick. I think within like a week they were shipped in at my door. So. I just wanted to like point that out in case you guys are worried about exchanges and stuff like that. Um, so I'll take you through the process. Uh, let's go ahead and go. <sighs> Woo! That was a quick little walk. I totally forgot to record anything and everything at the actual FedEx store, but it was a super simple drop off. I actually have a FedEx like super close to my apartment. Um, and I literally just showed them the QR code. He scanned something and then he was like, all right, that's it. He grabbed a bag, it had a little coat on it, he scanned it, he put the box in there. I was like, that's really it? He was like, 
and that was all. So I will keep you guys posted. It's currently 5.57 on a Thursday afternoon. So I will see how long it takes for them to receive the shoes and ship me the new ones that I'll be exchanging it for. But in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy my Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you guys, my Rothy's arrived yesterday. I'm so pumped to try them out. Um, it is, today is Thursday, so they arrived on Wednesday. So they got here pretty quickly. Let's go check them out. Spoiler alert, they fit perfect. As you can see, I've already tried one of them on and the others are in this box. And I don't know if I showed you guys how the box looks, but it's a very slim box. It says Rothy's on it and it has this like ribbon that you just kind of pull and then it opens the box for you. Very cute, sustainable. And it's wrapped in like this paper. And then they are just right here and they come with these little like cardboard inserts. I guess like to stretch it out or like keep the form. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these out for you all. Another thing is that this paper actually shows you like what the fit should feel like, how to take care of it. And then it tells you the directions on what to do if they aren't right. So that's why it was really easy for me to go ahead and just like do the whole return process. So it's really easy to take this out. You just kind of like put your finger through this little hole and just pull it out like that. And this is what it looks like. This is like the plain black color. It has the little blue um, trim around the ankle and super cute. 9.5 is the correct size for me. Here's a quick side-by-side -side of the 9.5 on the left and the size 10 on the right. Apologies for all the shaking. I did not realize how unsteady my hands were when I was filming this. But as you can see, the size 9, you can just tell by looking at it, they look like they fit much better than the size 10. The size 10 just felt loose for some reason so um the 9.5 overall it just fit like at the top of the shoe much better it caught on the back of my foot much easier like it didn't feel like it's gonna slip off and the rothys in general are just a very flexible shoe so they do kind of like crease and bend but it goes right back into the same form so i think that's totally normal super happy i sized down so last time i showed you guys the big toe thing that my mom would do in terms of like getting new shoes and this is perfect like there's like one like inch of room between like my big toe and the point and it doesn't feel like it's like rubbing or anything so I think it's a perfect fit for me um I'll go ahead and test this out for you guys so right away I could tell that these fit pretty good like they just hug my feet so much more like yes they're flexible but they don't like you know, they catch at the back of the ankle, which is really nice. And I don't feel like they're gonna like slip off. So I think the 9.5 is perfect. If you're wondering about like the whole sizing thing, um, 9.5 is a half size up. I usually get a nine and this is what they look like. They're super comfortable. This is the fit. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think they're very cute and like classic. I just wanted some basic flats that I could wear with anything <clears throat> to work and that were super comfortable to like walk around it. So I'm gonna wear these to work today and um, I'll come back and I'll give you guys a review as to what it's like to break them in and how it fits like on the first day. I wanna make sure they don't cut my ankles. That's like my biggest thing with getting flats. So I don't think they'll do that because it's like a knitted material, but just, just in case. <laughs> So I just got home from work, so I did a full day of wearing the Rothy's and I have to say they are comfortable. I did not cut the back of my foot or anything. I feel like with some flats it's just kind of like a gamble, but the material of this shoe is like very soft and stretchy and flexible and it's like kind of like a knitted material in a way. So I really didn't have like any kind of irritation on the back of my ankle or anything like that. I was able to wear them all day. My feet don't hurt. Um, I stand and I sit a lot during the day. So, I mean, I was on my feet for the entire day, but I wore them for a full work day. So I feel like I definitely got a good sense of like how they feel. And I feel like I could wear them like for a conference or something like that. 
so here they are they're very pretty in terms of like having like the little blue outline um very comfortable shoe very basic black flat and it has like a pointed toe um a big difference in terms of the sizing you could see that in the 10 you could see my toes a little bit here but on the nine and a half you can't so my personal recommendation would be to do a half size up i do see because it's pointed you kind of like have like less room here at the top so that's why they recommend doing like that half size up from your normal size um again i really like them i'll probably maybe get some more like if they have another sale <laughs> um but yeah i definitely want to get them in more colors it's super easy to remove this like inner sole you can just literally take it out and so it'll make it really like easy to wash with and i'm super excited for that but yeah this is what the inside looks like without a sole and i'll put that back in so rothy's has a lot of different styles a lot of different colors things like that if i do end up exploring more of those options i will keep you guys updated and let you know um but for now let me know if you guys have any questions if you want to see like maybe how i style them or whatever i can definitely let you know also i'll be washing them eventually so maybe i can like update you on that but let me know what you want to see next thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos to come